Okay, let's learn about the associative law of matrix. Okay. The associative law of matrix basically says that if there are three matrix, okay, let's call them as A, B, and C. Right? And for the purpose of this calculation, we have assumed that the multiplication inter se between these matrices is possible, which means that the order conditions are satisfied. Then the associative law says that if you multiply A into B and then multiply it by C, that is going to be equal to if you multiply A by the product of B and C. Okay? Let's take an example to prove this. Let's say we have A wherein the terms are this B which is equal to right and C now if we talk about the order the order of this is 2 by 3 this is 3 by 3 and this is 3 by 2. Right? Now, inter se, let us check whether A into B is possible or not. For A into B, the number of columns in A should be equal to the number of rows in B, which is true. Similarly, B into C, again, the number of columns is 3 here, the number of rows are 3 here, is possible. And let's say AC. AC also, number of columns are 3, the number of rows here are 3. Hence, AC is also possible. Right? So, what is the order of AB? A, B, this should be equal to 2 into 3. We learned earlier that if this is M into N and this is N into P, then the order of the matrix which represents the multiple of these two is going to be m into p. So a b will be of the order 2 into 3, b c, b c will be 3 into 2, right? And c a, well I don't think we need to do that here, so let's just leave that for the time being. Now we need to prove that a b into c is equal to a into b c. Right? So let's first take the left hand side. AB. AB is going to be what? A into B. Right? We know that the order of AB is 2 into 3. So we are computing AB. So we know that AB is going to be 2 into 3. So let's start one by one. So first row, first column. So you'll have 1 into 4 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 6. Right? This is going to be the first number. If you will add up this, this will be 4 plus 15 which is 19 plus 30. 49. Second, again, first row into second column. So 1 into 7, which is 7, 3 into 8, which is 24, plus 5 into 9, 45. This will be 76. Again, for the third item, because this is 2 by 3, so 1 column, 2 column, and the 3rd column. 1 into 4 gives you 4. 3 into 5 will give you 15. 
5 into 6 gives you 30. You get 49 here. Right? Similarly, now you take the second row and the first column. So you will get, I'm just writing down the values, 2 into 4, 8, plus 4 into 5, 20, plus 6 into 6, 36. Okay? Similarly, 2 into 7, 4 into 8, 6 into 9. This will give you basically 46 plus 54 which is 100. And the last one, 2 into 4, 8 plus 4 into 5, 20 plus 6 into 6, 36, 64. So we get AB is equal to 49, 64, 76, 100, 49 and 64. Now AB into C, so we've got AB here into C. What is C? C is 135246. Right? The order of this is 2 into 3. Here it is 3 into 2. So what will be the order of the resulting matrix? 2 into 2. Right? So we take this one by one. 49 into 1. 49 into 1. 76 into 3. This will give you basically 228 plus 49 into 5, 245. Okay? As you do the sum of these three, the number you will get is 522. Similarly, first row into second column. So 49 into 2 gives you 98 plus 4 into 76. Right? This will give you 304 plus 6 into 49 is 294. Right? When you do the sum of this, you will get 696. Again, second row, first column. 64 plus 300 plus 64 into 5 will be 320. This will be 684. I've done this calculation pretty quickly. We can do it easily also. Again, for the next one, 64 into 2, 128, plus 4 into 100, most simple, plus 6 into 64, 6, 6 are 360 and 384. So this will give you 784, 912. Right? So we've got A, cross B, cross C as 522, 684, 696 and 912. Let's call this as 1. Right? Let's see the second one. A cross So this will be basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is A into B into C, B into C. Let's give a little bit more space. So this is 3 by 3, this is 3 by 2. So B into C is going to be 3 by 2, 3 rows, 2 columns. Okay, so you've got 4 into 1. plus 7 into 3 plus 4 into 5 right 20 plus 21 41 plus 4 45 I know these calculations are pretty tedious at times but well it's like that only again first row second column so 4 into 2 gives you 8 plus 28 plus 24. Right? This is 60. Then second row, which is this, into first column. So I'll just write down the values 5 into 1, 5, 
plus 8 into 3, 24, plus 5 into 5, 25. 49, this will give you 54. Again, the value, second one, 5 into 2, 10, plus 8 times 4, 32, plus 5 into 6, 30. 72. You must concentrate hard as you do these calculations because one error can take you wrong through the entire question. The third row, this is 696. Okay? So 6 into 1 gives you 6, plus 9 into 3, 27, plus 6, 5, 30. 63. Right? Last one. 6 into 2, 12, plus 4 into 9, 36, plus 6 into 6. Will give you 36. Right? So this gives you 84. So you've got A, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, and you've got B, C, which is 45, 54, 63, 60, 72, and 84. Right? This is 2 by 3, this is 3 by 2 multiplication possible and the resulting matrix has to be 2 by 2 2 by 2 right first row first column 1 into 45 45 plus 54 into 3 162 plus 63 into 5 315 right if you do the sum total you get 522 which is the first value here. Second, 1, 3, 5 into this. 1 into 60, 60. 3 into 70, 210, 216. Plus 5 into 84, simple, 420. 480, 680, 696. Equals this. Second row, first column. 2 into 45, 90. Plus 4 into 54, 216 plus 63 into 6, 360 plus 18, 378. Right? Do the total of these three. What do we get? 684. Check it out for yourself. Again, we've got the third value. Let's do the last one. 2 into 60, 120 plus 4 into 72, 280 plus 8, 288 plus 84 into 6, a bit complicated, no, 6 eights are 48, so you get 480, 6 fours are 24, 504, right, must be wondering, how do we learn to do these calculations easy, we'll take time, 912, which is again equal to this, hence, we conclude, that multiplication is commutative, so A, into b into c is equal to a into product of b into c right 